You recently or just wrote an op-ed in USA Today about everything we saw this weekend yes. with the NFL football. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts just on kind of what's happening? Yeah, you know, I, I got to tell you, yesterday I was at 9 o'clock in the morning, I went over and visited with a gentleman by the name of Mr. Alex Amparo, who is the head of FEMA, mm -hmm. okay? I sat in this man's office and he said to me, there are five point six million, sorry, 5.6 million Americans right now suffering from storms. The biggest tragedy this country has faced. Now listen to me. I put my hand in the air and I took an oath of office. That oath was I do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Every soldier who wore a uniform took that same oath. I didn't say I swear allegiance to a song, to a piece of cloth, to the Constitution, which allows for freedom of speech. I was willing to take a bullet for that. Okay? Now, we're all acting like we're upset because somebody seems to have offended you patriotically, and the majority of people I hear open in their mouths, they didn't put a uniform on their back, their children didn't put a uniform on their back, they didn't serve, and they didn't even think of serving. So how dare you disrespect those who've been shot for freedom of speech by telling people to shut up? I stand for the national anthem. I sing. Mm -hmm. Go back and check it. In the history of television, I'm the only person to put the U.S. flag in the middle of their set for 10 years on my show. That was a flag I'm going to be buried in. But I respect your right to disagree any way you choose to. Wow. Our Constitution confirmed that you can burn a flag. Excuse me. How dare we not allow people to get down on their knees and pray that this country wakes up? That's what's going on. Sorry. I know you are so passionate. I know you are so passionate about this. You're saying we can respectfully disagree. Our Constitution allows for it. Our Constitution denies you the right to have patriotic, forced patriotic assembly. Okay? Let's get this straight. And again, I'm sorry. I, I got to say it to some people. I see a lot of people opening their big mouths on television. Their family didn't serve. They didn't let their children serve. They relegated it to some of the people that they want to throw out of the country now that wore a uniform. Because over 40% of the people in the military are people of some sort of color. Let's stop this stupid before this doesn't exist anymore. Sorry. No need, no to, need, sorry. No need to be sorry, Montel. No need to be sorry. We love seeing that passion from anybody, you know, and mm -hmm. we're thankful that you shared that. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> right. get, I'm sorry. Ah, let's right. light this up a little bit. Sorry I, you know what? Uh, uh, Don't be sorry to feel what you feel. Uh, I think you're in a safe yeah. place. Here on Great Day Washington, we lift people up. Yep. We don't yeah. tear them down. Uh, you're in a yeah. safe place yeah. to say what you want to say and feel what you feel. And so we thank you for that. And that's why we love you. And that's why you have people jumping on the couch when you oh, show up you. in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. No, right? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, listen to this, and we'll be right back.